The state of manufacturing is one way to take the pulse of a nation. Made in China is a mark that can be seen around the world. From men's suits to high-speed trains, from microchips to the Beidou navigation satellite system. But the processes of manufacturing are daily becoming more demanding, exacting, challenging. technologies that mean manufacturing will never be the same again. Seven out of the world's 10 biggest ports are in China. Every year, they see up to 160 million tons of goods leave for the outside world round the clock. Since the start of 2013, China has been the world's largest exporter. Its manufacturing power has long been something of legend. Now this manufacturing power is being turned to the method by which Chinese-made goods reach the outside world. Another of the world's mega container ships is under construction at this Chinese shipyard. At 399 meters long, it will rank with the biggest in the world. When fully loaded with containers, it can sail for 40 days uninterrupted, a true leviathan of the seas. This is the first time a container ship of this size with a capacity of 20,000 standard containers, has been built in China. For the engineers, precision is the greatest challenge in building this giant. They must work in all areas to a margin of error of less than five millimeters. Ensuring this precision starts with the cutting of the plates. 42,000 tons of steel plate is transported to a workshop in batches. A plasma cutter then cuts the plates in exact accordance with the design drawings to within a single millimeter. The heart of the shipyard is this giant dock, the size of seven football fields. The dock is the yard's most valuable resource so efficiency dictates that each vessel should occupy it for the shortest possible time. To speed the building process, the various sections of the ship are put together in modules away from the main dock. The original design of the ship splits it into 399 units or modules, which can be assembled separately and simultaneously at various sites around the yard. These are then brought together for final assembly in the dock. Although broken down into 399 modules, each weighs many dozens of tons and moving them around is not easy. One of the largest modules, the bridge and superstructure, is ready to be hoisted into position. It weighs over 600 tons. It will be lifted by two huge gantry cranes that themselves weigh 1,200 tons in total. The real difficulty is not in the lifting, but how to install it on deck to the nearest millimeter. It requires the precise coordination of dozens of skilled workers.
The cranes get the bridge in place when suddenly a strong wind gets up. Even a 1,200 ton crane system can't hold a 600 ton bridge steady in the Force 8 gale. It is decided to delay the operation. After a couple of hours, the wind drops. The welder sees the opportunity to make quick work of marrying the superstructure to the hull, and as ever, precision is the watchword. At the same time, in the hole, another group of engineers are conducting a test. A test frame the size of a standard container is lowered down into the vessel. In future, there will be 20,000 containers on board, each of which needs to have a precisely marked location. 我们通过这个模拟的那个香味啊，就是把这个箱子放下来了以后，就是试一下这个一个舱室的那个大小。像今天的样子，就是我们提交给船东船检，必须要保证它每一个香味要这个模箱要受理的放下去，就是说允许在
The design is about to be tested, and the engineers are preparing for it. To lay out billions of transistors on a 0.49 square centimeters chip, the engineers need to have extraordinary imaginations. It is like building an extremely complicated super city in a micro world. We are in the whole design process. We are putting all these It's like the data package for a high-definition movie downloaded from a simulation base station. The operation needs to be completed in a few seconds. This places high demands on the design. The final design is what will allow future 5G chips to support their greatly increased data transmission and processing speeds. China's chip manufacturers are looking for breakthroughs in many fields, including core chips that support high-speed railway operations and electric vehicles like insulated gate bipolar transistors (IGBT). The 5G chip developed by Panjunggung's group will appear in a new generation of smartphones. A new 5G era is coming. Another potential industry is aviation. The already busy skies above China will only get busier. There are currently nearly 3,000 aircraft flying more than 1.33 million passengers every day. The majority of these aircraft are manufactured in Europe or America. But that is set for a gradual change. The expansion of China's internal aviation market over the next 20 years will see the number of civil aircraft needed rise to over 6,000. This huge market has prompted Chinese engineers to design and build the C919. It takes more than 1 million components to build a C919, and each must be made to the highest standard demanded by the world aviation industry. Flight assembly engineer Zhou Qiwei explains some of the details. Ah,我们现在来到了地方，就是那个飞机架的舱，就是正副驾飞行员的一个正下方，呃，是一个电子舱，它是全机设备最密集的地方之一，线缆也是最多，啊，涉及到的插头大概将近有两百个左右，线速
。那它每个每个坐标点没有重叠的号的，他们所有的号在图纸上面都是唯一的。呃，我每装完这个点以后，呃，我会在那个电子表上打一个勾，证明我这个点是装完了。到最后我做复查的时候，我不是复查机上的实物，我是查我那个表。我表里没有打勾的，然后我上来复查。Computers and meticulous management allow the engineers to complete this complicated operation efficiently and reliably. At the Aircraft Test Engineering Institute, 30 kilometers away, another and altogether more dramatic test on the C919 is being prepared. This test is conducted in a Chinese-built flight simulator called the Iron Bird. All the control systems are identical to that of the real aircraft. The test will be of a simulated catastrophic failure in the C919's flight control system. Zhao Jingzhou is the deputy chief engineer of C919 for the past few years, he has been working on the aircraft's core flight control system. This amounts to the most sensitive and confidential data held by any manufacturer. The simulated scenario is a high-altitude failure of an aileron on one wing due to sudden icing. It will cause a dangerous destabilization of the aircraft's flight attitude. If the flight control system fails to correct it in time, a catastrophic accident could follow. one aileron is locked to an angle of 15 degrees by the computer system. The plane starts to roll. No one would risk conducting a test like this in the air. Yet with the Iron Bird, the engineers can test the plane to the limits of its parameters. Extensive testing in the Iron Bird, the C919's flight control system achieves a faultless level of performance on its first real test flight. In the future, C919 will be a key part of Chinese air transport system. The mid-sized passenger jet will not only benefit travelers across the nation and other countries and regions to which it is exported, but its manufacture will support more than 200 enterprises and 200,000 skilled workers in the research and development. It has taken just 30 years for China to transform from an industrial backwater to the world's largest manufacturer. But manufacturing demands energy. China consumes nearly 6 trillion kilowatt hours of power per year. To provide this by thermal power plants alone, it will put huge pressure on the environment. Reduction of carbon emissions is a key goal under the Paris Climate Agreement of 2016. Nuclear power is one way to achieve this while keeping the lights on.
Though nuclear power has zero carbon emissions, it does have other major safety issues. The engineers building China's new nuclear power stations must ensure safety cannot be compromised. 核裂片反应会产生巨大的能量，我们把这个能量通过蒸汽能机转换成电能，但是能量转换必须控制在安全范围之内。为了控制这些能量，巨兽，我们制造出了坚不可摧的大家伙。The 10,000 square meter factory in Shanghai is making the latest generation of nuclear power units by the highest safety standards in the world. The factory can build the equipment to fit out six nuclear power plants per year. If all are put into operation, annual coal consumption will be reduced by at least 13.8 million tons. In a special workshop in the factory, the key parts of nuclear power units are being assembled. A specialized metal tube will be inserted into the giant evaporator. Nuclear fission produces energy, which heats demineralized water in the reactor. This heated water flows through pipes in the evaporator to transfer their heat energy to water on the outside of the pipes. This water then evaporates, and the steam produced drives the turbines to generate electricity. In the process of heat exchange, no contact can be allowed between the radioactive water heated by the fission reaction and non-radioactive water which drives the turbines. These nickel-based alloy tubes are at the heart of this. The 1.01 millimeter thick tubes must have complete resistance to stress, corrosion, and cracking in a radioactive environment. They are the crucial components in a nuclear power unit. Their assembly is very demanding of the installation environment. The workshop must maintain a 100% clean atmospheric environment and a constant even temperature 24 hours a day. CIP is Zhenqifasenqi是目前世界上最大的蒸汽发生器，所以我们现在看到的是这个CIP现在蒸汽发生器制造过程当中非常关键的一个工序，油芯管的穿管工序。蒸汽发生器我们下部同级这个整个长度
In the last three decades, China has become the largest producer and consumer of automobiles in the world. The rapid rise in the huge number of cars has also raised issues of energy consumption and pollution. Now the situation is changing. assembly line may not seem much different from any other modern vehicle assembly lines anywhere in the world. The difference there is, not in the line itself, but in the vehicles being produced. They are all electric. We have the 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 Making new energy vehicles is changing the traditional concepts of automobile manufacturing. High integration and modularization of components have become the trend. With its global lead in battery technology, this enterprise has shifted the focus of its business to new energy vehicles and become a major supplier of electric buses, providing new energy vehicles for more than 200 cities in 48 countries. Besides batteries, another core component of new energy vehicles is becoming a battleground for global producers. Dr. Tsai Wei knows now this is a big moment for Chinese vehicle manufacturers. Tsai Wei and his engineering team are going to test how their independently developed motor performs on road. Dr. Tsai is organizing an experiment at the Beijing Electric Test Center. They are going to completely immerse their new electric motor design in water to test the whole system. This is crucial for the safety of all electric vehicles. Fourteen years experience of research and development in electric motors has made Dr. Tsai Wei one of the most influential members in the global motor industry. Now the motor developed by Dr. Tsai is on the procurement list of the world's top auto companies and has put China at the leading edge of new energy vehicles. In Shanghai, Dr. Tsai's factory is busy working on producing the new generation of motors. There are no workers to be seen. This is a fully automated production line that produces an electric motor every three minutes. Wan 
An enlarged automated line is being built which will increase the factory's capacity several fold. New technological breakthroughs have made electric vehicles increasingly effective and practical. This is an opportunity, but also a challenge, not only in terms of production technology, but also our collective way of thinking. During the first stage of development in China's manufacturing industry, low labor costs and product prices provided China with its competitive edge in the global market. Now this manufacturing industry is undergoing a major transformation and upgrade. In future manufacturing processes that are dull and repetitive will be handled by robots, leaving humans to supervise or engage in more creative work. Shenyang in northeast China is a center for robotic development. Here they design robots for a variety of different roles. They will be at the cutting edge of the production lines of the future. The robotics industry in China is expanding by 20% year on year. A new production line comes into service. It's robots building robots. A master robot selects the designated parts on the shelf and transfers the parts to their correct positions on the flow line through Automatic Guided Vehicles, AGV. Then robot arms assemble the parts. The line can build several different types of robot with complete precision. The rapid development of the industry has given birth to more and more types of robot. Engineers in Shanghai are working on the development of the next generation. Liu Yifan and his team is going to test the limits of their newly developed machines. Their new robot is going to carve an image on the shells of raw eggs. The eggshell is just 0.3 millimeters thick, while the surface of each egg is different. To engrave these irregular surfaces with a fast rotating cutting tool and avoid cracking the shell, the robotic arm must have precise control over its movement and have sophisticated spatial perception. The key to this is this seven-axis robot. Compared with a traditional robot, this robot has seven intelligently controlled rotation axes, which maximize the working parameters of the robotic arm. Working with multiple dimensions gives increased flexibility. A new robotic era is on the way.
Mr. Lee prepares to start the engine of his red truck. Today, he will hit the interstate highways with a load of dangerous liquid chemicals. A safe trip is paramount. To guarantee this, his cab is equipped with the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. In the Road Traffic Safety Control Center, his progress is being monitored. We have been able to monitor the road traffic safety control system in the Road Traffic Safety Control Center. Thanks to the Beidou system, China is able to maintain end-to-end -end monitoring on the movement of dangerous goods. from 210 degrees Celsius to minus 180 degrees Celsius in a near vacuum state. It will operate in geostationary orbit 20,000 kilometers above the Earth, where no breakdowns are allowed. The potential of the Beidou navigation satellite system is continually increasing. In the near future, wherever you are, no matter day or night, you and your smartphone will be under its watchful eye. It's 10 o'clock at night when train driver Zhang Zuni shows up for work. His task today is to test a new high speed train. In another couple of hours, it will take to the track for comprehensive testing. The train is part of a new series of high-speed trains called Fuxinghao, which literally means rejuvenation. Zhang Ziyi will test the train in speeds of up to 350 km per hour to verify the running conditions of the whole system. There are 30 engineers on the train to monitor the test.
In a few weeks, this new series of high-speed trains will take to the tracks for real as the world's fastest. Journey time from Beijing to Shanghai will be cut to four and a half hours. As the rejuvenation series roll out across the whole network, China will usher in a new high-speed era. 1,500 kilometers away in Changchun City, northeast China, the birthplace of China's heavy industry, a brand new factory has been commissioned. The first batch of the rejuvenation series is being assembled. They are wider, taller, and longer than the previous generation of high-speed trains, but their energy consumption is 15% lower. The trains are manufactured to uniform standards. Trains of the same type produced by other factories will all be compatible with each other. Even their components are compatible, which will help reduce running costs. At midnight, workers begin to install base plate bogies on number 5010 locomotive. It is the last element in the general assembly process. Base plate bogie supports the carriages and outputs power. This bogey is a new engineering design with a power output of 10,140 kilowatts. It has been tested over 600,000 kilometers each year for the last three years and has undergone 12 million fatigue tests. The bogey is about to be installed. It glides easily under the locomotive pushed by two workers. Its positioning is determined by four pins, which are carefully married to the positioning holes. Drama. At 1 a.m., all the installation work has been successfully completed. China has the world's most complex natural environment. The new trains will face extreme cold, heat, and sandstorms, amongst other challenges. China has 60% of the world's high-speed track, which has carried more than 7 billion passengers. With higher efficiency, longer service life, and higher energy efficiency, China's high-speed trains are beginning to become the new standard for high-speed train travel. Even the most traditional manufacturing industry in China is undergoing its own information revolution. Everything looks the same at a distance. Skilled workers, exquisite fabrics, and traditional machines. But appearances deceive. Liu Yili left her job with a world top 500 company to come and work here two years ago. Weaving machines were key to the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries. Automation reduced the cost of textile production. 
After Henry Ford invented the assembly line, manufacturing became even more efficient. Ten of thousands of products can be produced quickly and uniformly. Manufacturing costs further dropped, but at the same time, individuality was lost. Today, things are changing back again. Each outfit produced in this factory is tailored to an individual customer. Data is what drives this. Every order goes into the computer system from the internet, and the system generates it as an independent code. This code will guide workers on the production line. Although the 300 production steps are the same, the codes direct the machinists as to the different materials and production methods. Ten years ago, the clothes turned out on this line were mass produced. Now they are individually customized and tailored to each client. Each order will be turned around in a week. Inventory stock is a thing of the past. This is bespoke tailoring for the mass market. Everything has changed, and yet is somehow the same, just better, faster, more efficient. A new way of manufacturing is coming. More and more devices are connected to the internet. Robots respond directly to incoming orders. The emphasis is moving from pure speed of reaction to speed plus quality. This is the new made in China, a future of intelligent manufacturing. This is the future on which China is staking its industrial dream.